Welcome back traders to a new video. My name is Mark Moses. Uh, today I'll be talking about a question that I get pretty often is how do I decide what stocks I want to trade from AJ's list using options and how do I watch all of them? Do I only choose a few? Do I choose all of them? How do I do it? I'll be t answering all those questions. Before I do that, um, if you are interested and if you don't know, the link to my Twitter will be in the description box below. I post my option daily trades every single day. Also, if you have a question, you could just message me. I usually answer everybody. It takes some time because I get a lot of messages a day, but I try to answer everybody. And if you are interested in my, in my course, the link will also be in the description. Let's get right into this. So first of all, if you don't know who AJ is, AJ is the owner of ACT Awesome Cost Trading. He has a trading room, Awesome Cost Trading. Link will also be in the description if you're interested, if you're not in it yet. But pretty much what they do is AJ's the owner and he trades live. He calls out his entries for stocks. He calls out his um, exits for stocks. He answers questions for anybody that has, has, has questions. You could just put it in the chat. But the, one of the biggest things is he has he gives us these notes before the market even opens. So these are the notes we had for today, May 12, 2021. Um, on this, we had 12 stocks today. And again, this is before the market even opens, not during the market, before the market. So you have all of these notes. So you just put it into your charts and you're ready to rock and roll once the bell goes off. So now. Since there's 12 stocks on here, first of all, not all of them are good for options. And I only trade options. So whatever the stocks that are not good for options, I don't choose those. If you are interested what what's a good option stock, then you could check out my course. I talk all about it there. So what I do is I pretty much have something similar to this is I have on one of my monitors is one of my monitors is dedicated only for charts. So I have a total of nine charts on one monitor. That's the only thing the monitor is used for. Um, I never take off those charts. They're always there. I always watch the market. But what I do is on the top left, I have a uh, spy. Always I have spy here. You can't see it, but I always have spy there. On the bottom right, I always have Nvidia. And the rest are for stocks that are by AJ or that I find. Um, so usually what I do is I take these six charts and I put in the stocks that I want to watch for that day. Most of them are usually from AJ's list. So I only watch six out of 12 AJ stocks. Now, what stocks do I choose out of those 12? Now, the six stocks that I do choose from AJ's list, I usually like to go from the very bottom up. Why? Because since I trade options, I like to trade stocks that are a little bit more pricey on the pricier end, um, you know, like Tesla and Nvidia. If you look at the very top, it kind of goes from least expensive to most expensive kind of most of the time. So I like to just go to the very bottom and that's where I start. Tesla is a no brainer that it's good for options. Nvidia also is a no brainer that it's good for options. So these, uh, these two are definitely on my list today. Now going up UPST. Now I've never traded the stock before, but let's see what the options are like. So we, I go to TD, I go to the option chains list and I put in UP. ST. Now I look at the stock, I look at the options, uh, and the way I decided is very, the way I decide if, a, if it's good or not is very long. Um, not long, but it's a lot of information, so I won't be able to cover in this video. But again, if you are interested, it'll be in my course. But overall, I do see some contracts that are decent just by looking at it. So I will, I did have this stock on my watch list. Now going to the next one, you put in you. Yeah, you also have some pretty decent contracts. So you is also on my list. Now we go to light. Now we do go to light. As we I can see that light has horrible options. I would never trade this options wise. LMND. LMND is actually the stock that I traded today. I put in LMD. Yeah, the, it's pretty decent, not bad. Um, they were actually better this morning. Um, yeah, they were better this morning, but I did trade LMND puts wise today and I made decent money. Then going continue going be big c which is also pretty decent i believe yeah it's okay i wouldn't really trade it's on the lower price end but i would still have it since there weren't that many options today to trade from but usually we have a lot more higher price stocks to trade for but if like for example eyes which is the top one usually i don't even get up to it because eyes doesn't have the not the best options i mean they're fine but they're super cheap so out of these 12 stocks that we get from AJ, I like to choose the best six for options. 
Um, and sometimes there may be more than six. Sometimes maybe there may be less than six. But usually on average, there's around five or six stocks that you can trade options with that are very good for options. And again, not all stocks are good for options. So then after, after I have all of the six, five to six stocks that I will be trading for this, for this day, then I look at the notes for it. And pretty much all I do is, all right, so I tried to set it up where you guys can see the chart and the notes. So we're looking at the, this middle chart. So for example, let's do, uh, let's do LMND since I traded it today. So we put in LMND, Lemonade. We put in LMND. Um, so I like for it to be a little bit zoomed in when the market does open, but what we do is we take lines, these lines, and what I do is, for example, it said that do not long unless push through 69. So I put a line at 69. So I have a line at 69 and then look for a solid push two to four points. So then I put uh, two to four points, which is 71. And then go back to this and then we put it at 73, which is somewhere around here. All right, so we have that. And then otherwise a small snap at 67, look for sell off five to 10 points to the downside, which is what I played. So now we go here, take the line. So he said 67, according to AJ's notes. So we put the at 67. Again, it might not be super accurate because I'm trying to do it a little bit quicker. Then 62, I believe that's five points. I'm a math major, but, and then two, What was it? 10, so that's 57. Oh, we don't see it here. But it didn't really touch, whatever, so 57. It didn't really touch 50, uh, 57, but... So as you can see here, let me actually zoom in a little bit more. There we go. So when market opened, as you can see that it never even touched the 69. So there's no way, no reason why anybody should be even longing the stock at the open if you're in a, if you're in ACT. As you can see, it hit the six, uh, 67, and you took it down the five points, as AJ said, the minimum five points. It went down almost almost exactly five points, a little bit off. So that is exactly how I played it. I saw that it, it hit, crossed 67. I went in somewhere here, and then I sold via trail stop somewhere here in this area, and I made $1,800 with only $5,000 buying power. That's all that I did today. And I mean, this is just you can just keep on going and going with all these stocks, like the six stocks that you have, put it in your chart, put up all the lines so that once market opens, you have all the lines set up, you just sit back and you see, like, your eyes see it automatically once something snaps, you know, once it goes up or down and hits the price price target so you can go in and then you could go out. It's a lot easier visual wise to have all of this set up before the market even opens and to have all these lines set up before the market even opens. It just makes your life so much more easier and you can focus more on trading and watching the stock instead of just flipping back to AJ's notes and seeing the you know the price the price lines. So this is what I do for around five to six stocks every single morning before the market opens. Have all of these lines, have all of these set up. Once the bell rings, I'm st my eyes are on the charts and I look for these lines, you know, I see if something is going and, you know, kind of pop, I'll go in calls. If I see something crashing, which is hit the 67, which is sell off, I take the puts and I take it down. It, it, it's very, it's really that simple. And so it is really that simple and anybody should be able to do it. It might take a little bit, you know, it's, it's gonna be hard at the very beginning if you haven't been doing this yet, but it will get easier, I promise. All right, so that's it for this video. Um, I hope this was very informative. You learned a lot. If you are an act, I hopefully you know you learned to do these lines and you know to have a watch list of around five to six stocks every morning. If you don't have a, mo I do recommend everybody to invest money into a second monitor. It's the best investment I've ever made in trading. Is getting a second monitor. I mean, you could get them on Amazon for around 200 bucks. It's not that bad, but it is worth it a lot. It makes your life so much more easier. You don't have to be flipping back between windows and windows. You On one monitor, you have all the charts. 
on the other monitor you have the chat room and twitter and then where you actually trade but have one monitor dedicated only for charts so thank you so much for watching please subscribe hit the like button again my twitter is going to be in the link in the description box my course will be in the link in the description box and also the link to awesome calls trading which is the chat room i'm in i do not i do not work for them i just like them so much where i tell everybody to join it because it's so good help me a lot so thank you again so much for watching and catch you on the next video. Bye.